Hi and welcome to another video. Today's topic will be the DLSS enabler mod, which will convert DLSS 3 to FSR 3 and will enable frame generation even for AMD GPUs and of course for all the NVIDIA GPUs uh, which are not RTX 40 series GPUs. So we will jump right into Cyberpunk where I already enabled the mod and we will go into settings show you the settings first so we are at 1440p at 16 to 9 aspect ratio and we are on exclusive full screen the graphics I set it to ray tracing ultra and the resolution scaling I enabled DLSS super resolution on my AMD RX 6800 but it's not the real DLSS super resolution before it before because it's exclusive to Nvidia but it's the conversion from DLSS to FSR so super resolution we will set to balanced because ray tracing will be a hard hit on the GPU. The AMD GPU is not that good at ray tracing. And then we enable DLSS frame generation wi which will translate to FSR 3 frame generation. And the cool part is that it's using actual motion vectors so the um, quality of the frame generation will be much better than with uh, AMD AFMF frame generation which you can find exclusively in the AMD Radeon software. Um, so for ray tracing we go full ray tracing without fast tracing but we set ray trace lighting to medium. Everything else should be on ultra. Yes, then apply and we are ready to go. So what we see here is that we have around 90 FPS with a RX 6800 and frame generation enabled and we are consuming around 160 watts of power. I'll explain it uh, to you how we achieved this low power later. but. Our 80 to 90 FPS here and ray tracing is enabled like you see so the reflections are quite nice and the base FPS should be around 40 to 45 which is um, quite okay for a single player game like this because it's not as fast paced as um, many multiplayer titles and one point is that you shouldn't enable this mod with multiplayer titles because if it's using anti-cheat you will be uh, banned most surely. And we can try to disable the frame generation. So we disabled it and leave it only on FSR uh, slash DLSS super resolution at balanced applied and now we got around 50 FPS okay so we almost doubled the FPS with frame generation this is mod and we turn it back on so we now got around 90 FPS and It's uh, very playable with uh, single player games like I mentioned and um, I'm not very um, sensitive to input lag so mm, your experience may vary. Some uh, folks are very sensitive to input lag but I'm not. But I would consider it playable to be honest. But the more ba base FPS you have the better it is in terms of input lag and um, general feeling 
Yeah. So what I will show you next is um, my radiant settings. So I go to the radian overlay and my RX 6800 is set to a voltage of 925 using MPU, using more power tool. And with more power tool we can limit the voltage instead of relying on the wattman undervolting which will just offset the voltage. Um, so with wattman undervolting you offset the voltage uh, say by 100 uh, millivolts but um, it uh, is no limit so it may happen that your voltage overshoots but with MPT undervolting it will not happen. So the voltage we input in MPT will surely be the voltage we will get. And I have uh, overclocked my GPU from 2400 MHz to 2400 MHz and which uh, it's uh, a quite good overclock so I'm in reach um, with the uh, uh, XD variant so my RX 6800 is 5 to 10 percent slower than the XD variant with this kind of overclock and um, it would be around 20 to uh, 15 percent slower um, compared to the XD variant without the overclock okay so we covered this and I go to apply changes I close it again so um, what I will show you next is how to enable this mod, how to install it. So I quit the game. So confirm. And now mm, we have already downloaded this mod from Nexus Mods. And I chose the DLSS enabler installer the manual download and you have to be registered on nexusmods.com but the registration is free and so is the mod. Here are some optional files if you want to enable um, frame generation with DLSS 3.7 and yeah um, but for most games you just have to download this DLSS enabler. So when we downloaded it, we double click it, we accept the agreement, click next and then we set our path where we copy those files from this exam. So I copied it already to the desktop, so next. And um, now for AMD GPUs just choose Preferred Installation, DLL package and enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs and it's saying that you don't install it if you have an NVIDIA GPU so if you got an older NVIDIA GPU which you will try DLSS frame generation with so you don't have an RTX 40 series GPU um, you don't enable this checkbox but if you got an AMD GPU like me I click on that checkbox and click next and install so I close it and um, on the desktop this is the folder where I extracted it already you click uh, control A so you select all files control C and you go to your cyberpunk folder which is cyberpunk bin x64 and you paste it there and you're good to go so that's it and uh, if you have an other game I, I don't know which is compatible or which is not compatible and I have to say that I already encountered games that were not compatible uh, like what was it um, Horizon Forbidden West and it wouldn't work 
so I maybe it uh, was Ghost of Tsushima I don't actually know but uh, in some kind of games it doesn't work um, but uh, Luke FC mod which is a paid mod will most shortly uh, work and um, yeah so for other games you go to your folder where your um, main X uh, lies so maybe it's bin x64 or another folder but make sure you find your actual X and then you copy your files and then the important part is that you disable Nvidia signature checks you click on yes and yes and what it will actually do is it will disable the Nvidia signature checks so this means um, for frame generation or for DLSS to work you must have an Nvidia GPU but with this file you just pretend that you have an NVIDIA GPU so if you got an AMD GPU it uh, thinks that you actually have an NVIDIA GPU so okay um, yeah that's it here for today and have a good day and thanks for watching bye